little bit real quick about calcium. It's critical for intracellular processes in the body. Now, first I want to mention that calcium, 99% of it should be in your bones and teeth. Okay? Some of it, 1% of it, serves a lot of other important functions in the body, um, but the majority of it should be in your bones and teeth. I do hair mineral analysis on people. All the time I see super elevated levels of calcium in people's bloodstreams. Uh, and there's a lot of different reasons for that. I mean, the world we live in, stress, anxiety, uh, calcium being pulled from the bones. I mean, it, calcium is not in the right places in our body, which is you know one of the reasons we're getting so many of these, having so many of these problems. Uh, it's important for nerve transmission, blood clotting, communication between cells, muscle function. It's one of the key electrolyte minerals, uh, along with magnesium. Uh, potassium and sodium for having proper muscle and nerve function. Bone composition, obviously. And pH balance. I put this pH balance last, but it's actually the most important. <laughs> it's important for calcium to be in your bones to have strong bones, obviously. However, calcium being in your bones takes a back seat to your body maintaining its pH balance. Okay? So your blood has to maintain a pH balance of 7.4. Okay? If it doesn't, it's going to immediately correct that problem with the most alkalizing mineral it can find at its most abundant source, which is calcium, which is in the bone. We're going to get more detail into that, but understand <coughs> that this is more important to the body, keeping you alive, than making sure you keep calcium in your bones. <coughs> and that's what's happening. Real quick on magnesium, muscle and nerve function, converting blood sugar into energy. It's a vasodilator, so it dilates the blood vessels. Reduces stress and anxiety, healthy bones and teeth. Actually, I've seen two different studies, but one said 50% and one said 70%. But in, anywhere from 50 to 70% of your magnesium is in your bones. Very critical component of bones. And so many people are magnesium deficient. <coughs> Absorption of nutrients. And magnesium is known to do over 300 functions in the body. It's an antagonist to calcium. Calcium is very constricting to the body, whereas magnesium is opening and relaxing. So it's very important that we have that balance. And magnesium, we're much more deficient in magnesium than we ever will be in calcium. 